How's it going guys? This is Alex uh, for another video here with MA Performance. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about maintenance. And specifically, because it's starting to get nice outside, it's almost summer, uh, track maintenance. What you got to do to prepare your car for the racetrack. All right, and speaking of track days, our MA Performance Proving Ground is coming up this year as well. Uh, it's gonna be the weekend of June 9th through the 12th. Uh, it's a big event for our local guys. Even if you're not local, definitely come check us out. Uh, it's up at Brainerd International Raceway. All right, so getting into what you should do to get your car ready for the racetrack. Uh, not really in any particular order, but we got five main things that are going to uh, kind of have their own lists um, underneath those five main things. So lots, lots to talk about today. Let's get right into it, number one. So you don't want to be that guy at the track who has a wheel fall off or a strut falls out of the car or something crazy like that. So if you can, getting it up on a lift would be great. I know most people probably don't have access to that in their own garage, but if you can get the car up in the air, do a bolt check on everything. If you got aftermarket suspension in your car, you want to check the, the tightness of all the bolts all the way around, all four corners. Definitely check the torque of your lug bolts, lug studs, lug nuts, whatever setup you got in the car. If you got wheel spacers on, definitely pop those wheels off and check the tightness of those too. Moving up to the front of the car, check out stuff underneath the hood, uh, your hose clamps on radiator hoses, uh, intercooler couplers, um, pretty much anything that you, you can think of that you've maybe touched in the past. Um, if, you know, if you're replacing valve cover or gaskets, uh, you know, check tightness on that. Definitely don't want to have an oil or coolant leak on the track because then you're not only going to ruin your fun, but everyone else's fun at the track too. All right, so number two on the list and arguably probably the most important. If your car can go on the track, that's cool. You got to be able to stop though. Do a thorough inspection on your brakes. Uh, if you just did brakes uh, in preparation for the track, I would 100% recommend making sure that you go and drive the car and do a proper bedding procedure on the pads. If you didn't just replace the brakes though already, um, I would make sure that you've got proper thickness on the pads that's within spec. Uh, make sure that the rotors aren't cracked, they're not glazed over, they don't have a huge lip on the edge of them. Just make sure that everything is, uh, is in good shape. Like I always say, would you let your mother or your daughter drive this car? If the answer is no, don't take it on the track. <laughs> So the last thing to, uh, to look over on the braking system is going to be the brake fluid. It's pretty easy to tell just by looking at it. You know, you want to make sure that it's not dark. Brake fluid should be kind of a, a clearish, kind of yellowish color. Um, you can get some testing strips uh, too that will actually test the water content of it. Uh, because brake fluid is hydroscopic, it absorbs moisture over time. And when you have excessive moisture content, in your brake fluid, that's going to lower the essential boiling point. Um, so when you're on the track, braking hard all day long, uh, you're gonna get those soft pedals, that mushy feeling, uh, you definitely don't want that. I would recommend doing a brake fluid flush every time you go on the track. I think most tracks probably won't even let you on the pavement if you can't tell them when the brake fluid flush was done and what kind of fluid it is. It's definitely very important. So that, uh, that topic there is going to kind of transition us into topic number three. That's doing a kind of basic fluid check. Uh, obviously we got brake fluid covered. Uh, I would say doing an oil change uh, would be recommended. I definitely do an oil change before every track day because uh, the car that I usually bring to the track, I also do drive it on the streets. Uh, and that goes for your coolant too. I know coolant can last a lot longer than, than oil, uh, but if you run a specific uh, ratio of coolant to water, maybe if you add water wetter, uh, just make sure that it's going to be correct for what you're trying to do and how you have your car set up. Definitely make sure that all of your fans are working. Definitely need that when you're sitting in the, sitting in the heats waiting to go out and your car just sitting there idling. You don't want to start overheating because you know, your fan doesn't work. Checking power steering fluid too as well. I think that is a big key component to having a successful track day. Uh, it might go overlooked in a, in a lot of people's cases, but power steering fluid kind of operates the same way with as a brake fluid. Uh, it can get dirt and debris and moisture in there. You want to check the filter, make sure that's not clogged up and restricting your flow. You want to make sure you've got good clean fluid in there. Definitely don't want to have a power steering failure at the track and you know send yourself into a wall because you weren't expecting it. Topic number four. Topic number four is gonna be about the only thing that's actually keeping you on the pavement. That's your tires. Uh, if you do just a visual check uh, from your car sitting on the ground, you might look okay. 
Uh, it is deceiving though. Definitely get your car up in the air and have a full face-to-face -face view with those tires. Uh, some people won't even tell that their tires are worn on the inside or that there's cords showing uh, because just looking at it from outside the car without on the ground, uh, like I said, definitely kind of is deceiving. So definitely when you're doing that bolt check, you got to up in the air. If you can take a good look at the tires, uh, check the date codes on the tires. You don't want to have old hockey puck tires on the track that aren't going to do anything but grease up and again slide you off into a wall. Make sure that uh, you check the tire tire tread depth. Uh, every tire is going to be a little bit different. You know our compound tires and you know something like a slick or whatever obviously is going to have a different minimum tread depth rating um, than something like uh, you know mid-level performance tire. And if this is your first track day of the season and you're like me and your car has been sitting in a cold garage for six months definitely want to uh, check that tire pressure uh, and that's something too that you can kind of adjust as you go. If you're going to drive your car to the track um, you know you might want a more comfortable tire pressure setting when you get to it readjust maybe lower it down if you're you know doing something like drag racing you obviously you know you can lower the tire pressure to increase grip uh, things of that nature um, so that's going to be something that you might want to check at the track but if you've got that slow leak from last year and you didn't fix it definitely would uh, would be better to catch that now than when you already make it three hours away at the at the racetrack and number five that's going to be your battery and charging system again you know if this is your first track day uh, definitely want to make sure that your battery has been stored properly the year before typically what i like to do pull it out of the car bring it inside where it's not negative 40 degrees outside and if you have one plug it into a trickle charger, uh, but the bare minimum, definitely bring it inside where it's warm. Uh, we'll save you 200 bucks if you don't need to have to buy another battery again at the start of the season. Uh, if you've got a stock vehicle or, you know, mostly stock vehicle, um, you know, some things might not apply to you, uh, but if you're full race car mode and you've got like a relocated battery or a small battery kit or something like that, a couple things to keep in mind is that, again, most tracks probably will not even let you in unless your battery is secured properly. Uh, you don't want to be that guy that's got a ratchet strap around his battery or a 2x4 lodged against the wall of the trunk or something ghetto like that. Just make sure that your battery is tied down correctly, people, okay? Because if it tips over and it arcs on something, your car is going to burn to the ground. Oh my god, we're burning alive! No, I can't feel my legs! All because you want to save a couple extra pennies. <laughs> and again, for all you uh, full track day bros out there with your battery relocation kit, if you did it yourself and you did the wiring, um, just double check uh, you know, where you routed it, if it's in a safe spot that's going to be away from like a, a car jack. You, know, uh, you don't want anything getting pinched or grounded out. Um, you also just want to make sure that everything is still tight uh, and that you've got proper connections. Uh, because if you lose power when you're wide open throttle on the back straight 150 miles an hour uh, You know your fuel pumps gonna turn off you're gonna lean the car out It's not gonna be a good time. So just check over everything uh, make sure that everything is tight proper connections secured correctly and You'll have fun. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out uh, Like I said if you're a first-time newbie driver or if you're a track day pro uh, It's gonna be good stuff to know and it's gonna be a good reminder. You know people get complacent. They, they get lazy don't be lazy because we care about your safety and I hope you guys all have fun out there on the track, but please be safe. If you come up to BIR this year for Proven Grounds, come say hello, but I'm probably gonna check to make sure if your battery's tied down. You a cop? If you have any other uh, track day maintenance tips that uh, you think we should have included uh, or want anyone else to know about, drop them in the comments. Keep an eye out for some future videos similar to this. Uh, we're gonna be talking about specific makes and models and maintenance that might be uh, kind of individual to those cars. Uh, so if you have any cars that you want to see a video on, drop that in the comments too as well. That uh, might be good for someone that's looking to buy that specific car and doesn't really know anything about it. We'll cover everything that you need to know. If you need any of these maintenance items for your car before your track day, definitely give us a shout. We've got uh, plenty of brake fluid options, plenty of oil options, filters, coolant, you name it. We'll get you all squared away. Uh, so like I said, hope this helps and we'll talk to you guys next time.